my name is Thais Gibson and I'm the creator of the Personal Development School. This is your daily breakthrough video and in this video I'm going to talk about the fearful avoidance inner critic. Um, so I'm really excited to share this. I feel like this is going to be a really fun video and I want to see how accurate this is for your thoughts. So I want you to let me know in the comments below if you feel like this is an accurate representation of some of the thought patterns you have. Of course, we have tons of thoughts. The, the University of Southern California's Neuroimaging Institute estimates we have about 60 to 70,000 thoughts per day based on a study they did about thoughts every single minute. Um, and we have a lot of these thoughts that have a massive impact on us. A lot of these thoughts come from beliefs. These thoughts produce an emotional output. So if I'm telling some story to myself about how I'm um, you know, not smart enough or not interesting enough, or I'm not, you know, fun enough or whatever it might be on the way to go meet people and make new friends. How am I going to feel? So our thoughts elicit emotional responses, neurochemical reactions. Um, I may have a cortisol response if I've got a lot of stressful oriented thoughts. Um, and neuroscience has proven we make decisions based on our emotional state. So then we have, um, you know, actions and behaviors that follow. So with all of that being said, what I want to touch on here today is the inner critic of the fearful avoidant. In other words, the thought patterns fearful avoidance tend to have. And we're going to talk about how these are often based on core wounds. So I'm going to make a few points and then we're going to go through the individual ones for the fearful avoidance. If you want to do the work on this stuff and you want to do a deep dive into this, you can check out our emotional mastery and belief reprogramming course for free. So if you hear these thoughts, you're like, oh my gosh, this is totally me. That course will help you reprogram those thoughts. You can check it out for free for seven days, get all the worksheets, workbooks, patterns, so much insight into yourself that the course will help you navigate and find. Um, and we're going to talk about these major things. So number one, you can think of your inner critic as being your internal voice or pattern of thoughts throughout the day that speaks your core wounds back to you. Okay. In other words, whatever belief imprints you've been imprinted with because of traumatic events or experiences in your childhood or upbringing, this will be the voice of that. Okay. And what it really is, is like sort of like your inner critic, you can think of as like your internalized traumas and how you cope. I've often said to people over the years, like the voice of the individuals that you spent the most time around growing up becomes your own internal dialogue. So if you had your parents, and let's pretend you had two super critical parents who maybe had good intentions, they really just thought that they were trying to make you shaped for the world and molded for success, but maybe they were really critical of you in the process, you're more likely to grow up being very critical of yourself. It's almost like we internalize our parents' dialogue to us becomes our own internal dialogue, um, or at least very much so traces and patterns of it if we were you know, living with our parents growing up. Um, and I want you to also notice that the more you're around things that trigger your core wounds, the more your, your inner critic and internal dialogue gets active, speeds up. So if I have a, a core wound that says something like, oh, you know, I'm unloving or I'm unlovable, I mean, um, and then I'm around somebody who pulls away from me, you know, that story is going to come online. I'm going to be like, look, I'm unlovable, you know, and, and, and that internal dialogue will really, really start be, um, speeding up. So these are the major ones for fearful avoidance, okay? Um, the I am unworthy core wound. And a lot of these thoughts, and this is the tricky one to find, are things like, I have to X, Y, Z. I have to go to the gym more often. I have to take those extra courses. I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. Always trying to earn your worth, okay? So it's like all the things you have to do to become more worthy. And so a lot of your inner critic will be like, I have to, I need to, I can't believe I didn't. I have to make sure I'm doing this. And we, it's not like directly criticizing yourself, but it's directly pressuring yourself to earn your worth all throughout the day, all day long, which can be exhausting. Um, our next one is based on the core wound, I am unsafe. And this is often a lot of fearful avoidance cope with this by over defending. And so these types of inner critic type, but we'll call them invasive thoughts um, or things that are not really necessarily serving the highest expression of yourself will be things like, I will fight back. I will defend if they ever X, Y, Z again, I will X, Y, Z. And a lot of these thoughts, and again, the, the reason I'm putting these under like the inner critic is because these are thoughts that produce negative neurochemical reactions in your body based on negative emotional output and often make us cope in not so healthy ways. Okay. Um, another huge pattern for 
FAs is based on the core wound, I am bad. And it'll be like, I can't believe I X, Y, Z. I'm such a terrible person. Everybody's going to think I'm a terrible person. Everybody's going to be so upset with me. I can't, oh, there must be hurt. They're hurt because of me. All these types of thoughts. I'm, I'm so guilty type thoughts. Okay. Our next big pattern is based on the core wound. I will be betrayed and we'll see patterns of thought. Like they're going to X, Y, Z, you know, I have to watch out for this and they did this and it means this. I can't believe they took advantage. I can't believe they would do that to me. I can't believe they would lie. They must be lying. I noticed this change and then this. And then there's sometimes even like a thought pattern that follows. It's like, and I don't need that person anyways. And it's like the way we cope with those fears that come up. And it's like, and I could do without them and I don't need to be around them. And it's, you usually will start doing that once you already have felt hurt um, by something that took place and then didn't have like appropriate measures to resolve it. Um, and the internal dialogue goes down one path and then it goes down that path of it. I don't need them anyways. Um, another big one is based on the core when I'm not good enough. Um, and this will be a lot of like the, I should have, um, I need to work on X, Y, Z. I need to improve this. I need to fix that. I need to change this about myself. I need to, I need to, oftentimes there can be like productive moments in there of like, Oh, I can improve on this. But when we're constantly just like berating ourselves with these thoughts, rather than also like validating and acknowledging our wins going, but I have done this and this, and I'm coming a long way. And I, you know, without that, it just, this really becomes the inner critic. Um, another big one is based on the, I am trapped wounds. So things like, I can't stand this. I need to get out of here. I can't work at this place any longer. I need a new job. I need a new boss. I can't. And, and a lot of like these intense, um, sorts of reactions and even things around, like, I will take my power back. Um, you know, I need to let them know that I, that I can't X, Y, Z. And I sort of like say these things, like, you know, with a little bit of laughter, cause I was a really strong fearful void for anybody who doesn't know. And so <laughs> these were my patterns once upon a time, big time. Um, and another last honorable mention, we can have other ones with that go along with, I can't trust based on like, I am abandoned or I will be abandoned. Um, and again, they kind of like go hand in hand with suspicious type thoughts, but the last big separate theme in here is based on, I am unloved. And often it'll be like, oh, this person doesn't care about me anyways. I don't matter to anybody I don't matter to them. Nobody cares about me. Nobody would care if I wasn't in the relationship, they wouldn't care anyway, you know, and we'll get down that rabbit hole. So these are some major patterns. You can reprogram all these patterns. You can wipe these things. These are not taking up all of your real estate in your mind throughout the day all the time. Um, and you have space to put into like productivity in terms of things you want to create or things that you love doing that you enjoy and that fulfill you and that, you know, fun hobbies or whatever it is, you can put your energy towards like a lot nicer things rather than these like heavy patterns of thought that follow us around until we reprogram those core wounds. So again, you can check out the emotional mastery and belief reprogramming course for free. It digs into these core wounds. It helps reprogram. It gives you a whole bunch of different tools to reprogram. Um, but let me know if this resonated with you in the comments below or any other major thought patterns you see. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.